Hey everybody, it's Kenyam and I just wanted to do a quick update on how to delete your Netflix history. So we're going to go on to one of the profiles here. And as you can see here, they've made the setup completely different. It used to be on the left and you just have to go down. There'd be a quick link that would bring you to the website. That is completely gone. Not entirely sure why they've done that. I was really hoping they'd make it so you can delete on the actual app, whether it be Apple, Xbox, PlayStation. But they've completely gotten rid of it. The only thing now you can delete on the actual app itself is your downloads and that's it. So I'm just going to show you her continue watching. So you take a look right there. And we're going to get rid of that now. So you just go on to the website. Doesn't matter which browser you use. And we're in her profile. So we're going to quickly go down to account. And it will bring you to the top of this. I would show you that but I don't want you guys to see my information so we go to viewing activity and we have a whole bunch of stuff here so we're going to get rid of gabriel iglesias sorry uh we'll get rid of this one as well so for movies you just have to hit it once for shows you go hide series and that should do it really quick let's get rid of this as well and why not we'll get rid of this perfect so now you will see here on the actual app it's gotten rid of a whole bunch of stuff. Now, as you can see here, Brooklyn Nine Nine did not actually erase. You may have to do it a couple of times if it's a show that you've watched quite a lot of. I've noticed that because whenever it's like just a show you've watched for like one episode or something, it'll do it instantly. But if you've already watched like all of one season or two or three or whatever, it does take a couple of tries to do it. But it still does it, I guarantee. So that's really all there is to it now. Unfortunately, as of early, this is 2019, so they're going to make it so you actually have to go to the website, which I do understand. They want to bring a lot of traffic over there, so I do really get it. It's just sad to see that it, there isn't a way to join the app, but say la vie, I, again, I do understand. So if this helps you out, guys, leave, uh, leave me a like. If you did not help, let me know in the comment section below, and I will always try and help you out. Either way, thank you so much for watching. And I'll give you guys an update as soon as uh, there's any changes. So see you guys next time. Bye.